Now an award that I shall be very glad to see the back of. As you can probably guess, it's the award for your favourite presenter. In the world of talk show hosts, the torch has been passed to a new generation. And it's burning brightly today for the lady who presents this award. Would you welcome, please, the formidable, the wonderful Mrs Merton. <laughs> Dorothy. Isn't it lovely that they've wheeled him out for these sort of do? <laughs> that's the BBC, they never forget, do they? <laughs> but can I just say, I'd like to say a very big thanks to John Burt, the big knob head of BBC. <laughs> for all that he's given us that passes as entertainment. <laughs> Happy birthday, BBC. Happy 60th birthday. <laughs> Lovely. And the nominees are... The nominees are... Who are they, Parky? <laughs> Hello. They're charming, aren't they? Or if they're not, they jolly soon ought to be, because they're students at a London charm school, and they're paying 25 guineas for a course which should buy them a little extra charm. You can't learn, but it gives you sufficient confidence to be able to put the charm over, I think. And how do you put it over? I don't know. I'm still learning. <laughs> it's actually very pleasant. It's like swimming in slightly over-salted consomme. I'm told that no marine life can exist in here, so you're absolutely safe. Michael Palin, news at 4.30. Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Look! Who's the question, people? ask themselves about you and I think it's out of their love they have for you yeah is is that they don't want you to go on getting hurt in the ring I've never got hurt it's strange oh you it? must have got hurt in the ring Where? well I mean I saw you jo fight Joe Frazier I didn't get hurt. you didn't no. he's a very good actor yeah, no. <laughs> are you calling me a liar no no <laughs> <laughs> their sight their hearing their sense of smell are so similar to ours that we see the world in the same way as they do. They live in the same sort of social groups, hardly permanent family relationships. It's been a black day for football. On a sunny afternoon at Hillsborough, Sheffield, no fewer than 93 football supporters died in the most tragic accident for the sport ever in this country. Jimmy Hill and I were there, and it becomes the sad duty tonight for those of us normally concerned with the lighter side of television reporting to deal with a somber subject. And when you come back after those 20 years, you find the Belsen concentration camp almost, though not entirely, unrecognizable. Gone are the huts and the compounds and the barbed wire and the poor, emaciated, tottering people that were staggering about. And the SS guards, men and women, they've all disappeared. Mr. Howe, do you think that uh, either you or your... Uh predecessor, Mr. Clark, made a serious error of judgment in appointing Mr. Lewis? No. Uh, I think that uh, Mr. Lewis has achieved a great deal in his time well, in the prison service. Well, rather begs the question of why you're sacking him, doesn't well, it? Well, I've, I've explained that more than once during the course of today. Hasn't he been sacked to save your skin, Mr. Howard? You've had an increase of home ownership the heart of the family Can under this government. Question, please, Prime Minister, you ask me the most fundamental thing. Well, I know, I but must we're not having you. a party political broadcast. We're having so, an interview which must please, depend on me asking some questions yes, occasionally. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> and if, if you hear, I know you don't read it, but if you hear that somebody or a group of people have said they don't like a particular dress you wear, would you make a point of, of not wearing that no, dress again? No, I've always wear it again because, you know, I've been to dressmakers, I like it. I I've just been arrested for handing out bat stew. Can <laughs> <laughs> we just film that bit of pavement there, which is not obstructed? Because people no, look, are moving you can't there. stay here blocking the complete homes, Your Honour. I'm afraid I'm in support of the trap. <laughs> 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 Could you tell our director that I wasn't obstructing? Or at least it was Who's the real winner? Oh! <laughs> Men 
menopausal women all over the country will be going wild. The winner is the delicious Desmond Lynham. Much admired Des began presenting sport on Nationwide in the 70s. And you may recall the memorable meeting with Mrs. Merton earlier this year that had the nation's tongues wagging. one more time. <laughs> well, I can't quite believe this. It's quite astonishing. I mean, you look at the nominees in, in this category, most of them legends. I looked at it earlier and I thought to myself, I'm, I'm about the only one on this list I've never really heard of. <laughs> but uh, there it is. I can only think that my father was one of 15 children. He must have got all our relatives to phone in for me. My aunts and uncles and cousins. So I'd like to thank them and anybody else, anybody else who voted for me as well. And uh, I'd like to dedicate this uh, to all the people I work with in the sports department here at BBC, they, uh, 